So it seems that Fat Amy's team or Fat Amy's team is not happy that she is not fat anymore. I'm talking about Rebel Wilson. I'm talking about another one of the examples of how destructive Hollyweird actually is. Because for those of you who don't know, Rebel Wilson, also known as Fat Amy, got her title off Fat Amy in Pitch Perfect, which was a very popular um, movie series. Well, I say movie series. I guess it was movie series because they had three of them. And it turns out she's lost weight, which I guess she decided was best for her, or at least what she wanted to do. And her team isn't happy about it. And this is exactly the type of stuff we need to talk about on this channel, guys. Because what I'm trying to expose the fact that in the entertainment industry, it is a very toxic industry right now. It's a very toxic industry because a lot of the things that are going on in the industry are um, people want to put you in a box. And the same way I talked about another one of my videos about you've got the whole fat versus fat ugly characters in children's TV. And why do we always have to have a fat? slash ugly or fat or ugly characters that are and that's what they're known for you know I talked about that and I've talked about on a number of occasions how different people have seen different issues based on the fact that they fit into a particular box for example I spoke about Amanda Bynes um and I spoke about how for her people saw her as funny people saw her as comedy but she wanted to be seen more in the sexy light like somebody like for example Lindsay Lohan was seen as in around that time and so when I saw this whole thing about Rebel Wilson, I was just like, I just literally rolled my eyes. I was like, this woman has decided she wants to lose weight. Yes, you might have liked the Fat Amy thing. And yes, we might have found Fat Amy as funny as a character. But I personally feel, and you guys let me know if you feel differently. Because I personally feel like her changing herself up isn't making a difference to me. I just want to see where she wants to go with that. Do your thing. Do your dance. Like, it's kind of like with the Adele thing. Like, I know some people felt away. And I have a lot to say actually about the Adele thing in another video. But... If they wanted to lose weight, let them lose weight. Why is it that in the industry you have to be so much into a box? It's almost like in the same way that if you're known to be, um, you know, black-haired and skinny, that you have to stay black-haired and skinny for every role. It's like, and also if you're considered fat or, or, or big and whatever, you have to stick to that. Why is that? Why is it that people get pigeonholed into a certain type of role? Because... Having a particular body type does not define like who you are as a person. It's just your body. And there might be things about you that are in, in that that go along with how your body structure is, right? But why is that thing like that we have to be so concerned about? And why are her team disappointed? Like, why would you be disappointed that somebody's done something that's that might be serving them? And I can't say 100 percent it's serving her because I don't know what she's got what she's got going on behind closed doors, you know? But either way. And that's the decision she made. And this is just an example of the fact that in the industry, it's not an industry where you can just be comfortable, like doing your thing, being who you want to be evolving. No, you have been there's there's like it's almost like there's a prescribed image that people have of who you are supposed to be. And you have to stick to that. You know, um, I was even watching a video earlier about these two different mums who are talking and they both have YouTube channels um, and they were discussing how they felt about pregnancy. And one of the ladies was saying how she, for her specifically, she wanted to bounce back from her pregnancy and her life to go back to the exact same it was prior to pregnancy, right? And the other one was saying, well, actually, I'm happy about how my life has changed and my body has changed since being pregnant and I want to keep this new life that I've got. You know, people deserve that right to make the decision. I don't think there's anything wrong with either of them by any stretch because one of you, you knew you wanted to have a child, you were not willing to sacrifice everything else. By all means, do your thing. The other one, she's now decided that at this point in her life, her children are going to be everything and this is what she wants to do. That's fine as well. And I just, it's just sad to me that in this industry, people have to be so consistent with who they are as people. Even though being a person is like a constantly evolving process, you're always growing, you're always learning. Why do people want so much of just the exact same thing? And I get it because you want to have something that you enjoyed. You kind of want to have the same hit maybe excuse me, of the first thing that you had. But at the same time, people change and people evolve. And I think that's why a lot of the people, even on YouTube, even celebrities, have feel the need to step away from the public because they feel like, I can't be myself here. Like, I can't grow. People want this version. Or they're happy to be here as long as they're the version they think we want of them, you know? So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I've just been thinking about that quite a lot. Um... And the Rebel Wilson thing just ticked me off all the way. I was like, why can't she just do what she wants to do? Why can't she just lose weight? Why are her agents and whoever her team having a problem? 
she wanted to lose weight she did it it's her body it's her life it's her career you know and i think a lot of the time in industry people who are above you people who are part of your team whether it's management makeup um labels and stuff are just taking way too much um entitlement in a situation that they don't have because really they're there to support you that's what it's really about they're not there for themselves they're not there for whatever they're supposed to be there to support you because they don't have a job if you don't have a job and you're not going to have a job if you're probably not doing what you want or what you feel you're called you're called to do because you probably won't be doing it as well and you probably rather do something else you know so anyways if you did enjoy this video please subscribe please check out my other videos um if you have enjoyed this one don't forget to like of course and of course let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below even if it's just that you're annoyed about how many times i just said of course because i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and stuff like this because this is the kind of stuff we like to talk about other than that god bless you all and i'll see you in my next one goodbye